Imagine a giant hand stubbing out 5,000 cigarettes on Earth. It would look like this. In 1931, pilots spotted a snake-like band about 1.5 kilometers long in Peru. 5,200 neatly arranged stone pits carved into the ground. This is the famous band of holes. Was it an alien runway or an unfinished death ritual? Rumors kept emerging, but they all hit the same wall. The pits were empty. No gold, no bones, just dust. But stones can speak if you listen. Archaeologists Charles Stanish and Jacob Bongers returned with drones and sediment sampling. They saw a pattern, eight to seven, eight, seven. The seemingly chaotic holes are not random. It's a code. It's the visual echo of Kipu, the unique ancient Inca system of recording data through knots. Could it be that this was a knot record carved on the earth? Then comes the microscopic evidence. In the dust at the bottom, they found a key clue, maize pollen. It's not the kind of thing you'd expect to simply drift here by chance. So the simplest explanation is this. These pits once held stored goods, likely food. All the clues, the math pattern, the crop traces, the location on key routes, together reveal a gigantic spreadsheet laid across the earth a large-scale accounting system. Centuries ago, Chincha Kingdom farmers and fishers gathered here. With no paper or pen, they turned the hillside into an abacus. Each pit was a unit. How much tax do you owe? Fill three pits. Trading for cotton? Count those five holes over there. When the Inca later took control, this hillside may have become the IRS of the ancient world. Officials stood above, calculating the wealth of a kingdom in a single glance. The 8787 pattern? That's not art. It's an algorithm for tax rates. The ancient people used the earth as their paper and shovels as their pens, writing economic history by digging into an entire mountain. Today, the 5200 pits sit empty. Andes wind rushing through them echoes of an ancient marketplace. And the human urge to measure the world was not just written on pages, but was carved into the mountains beneath our feet. <laughs>